Welcome back to Mega Man 4, Buster Only No Death Run, and this is it. We are on the final stretch of the game, the first stage of Wily Fortress, or Skull Fortress, or whatever you want to call it. But, like I said in the previous video, this stage is interesting for one single reason, and that is there's only one enemy type. And you've already seen it. It is these hard hats. Every enemy you see in here is a variety of some sort of hard hat from earlier in the game. Hard hats that react as normal with the three spread shot, hard hats that spin in place and fire shots while they dance, and then we have those aqua mats. And they use them in quite interesting configurations throughout the level. So it can get a little hectic at times with all these shots going all over the place. But overall, this is a fairly simple level. There are a couple tricky spots, but on the whole, nothing to be too worried about. Except for this section. <laughs> Oh, we had to have the instant death water section it's at least one point in this game, right? Right? Yeah. And of course, Wily Stage 1 does not disappoint. Oh, gosh. But with some careful platforming jumping, you should get through just fine. No jumps are really difficult or tricky. Ugh, I've done these several times. I already memorized the layout. This part's only tricky on the first jump, because of the block that appears right above you. But this one is tricky for the last jump, for the same reason. And jump, there we go. And that's the last we see the phase blocks for a little bit. And this is clear sailing to the end, and even an extra E-tank for our troubles. Now, what comes here is probably the hardest boss in the Wily stages, to include Cossack's Fortress, if you knock out Mothra at the beginning there. The Mama Hard Hat, or Daddy Hard Hat? I don't even know the name of this thing. But this guy is a tank. Oh gosh, and if you're on the ground, when he lands, you are stunned for a little bit. And you... Uh, yeah, you gotta jump as soon as he falls, and then... Four Mets fall from the ceiling, which are completely randomized. Like, there is no rhyme or reason where exactly they fall in relation to the main hard hat or you. So you just gotta go to the edges and hope... Oh, gosh. Whew. I hope they don't drop on you. There's a little bit of luck involved in this battle. And it... I, I don't... I haven't really figured out the length of his jumps. Like, at first I thought he jumped as far... Oh, gosh. See? Oh, he hurts so bad. Like, three hits and you're dead. Like, there's no rhyme or reason to the length of his jumps. At first I thought it was he would jump to your current position, but then he would, like, vary his jumps up and not exactly go the full distance. I That kind of debunked that theory. And then, of course, he randomizes how long he waits before he jumps. Oh, gosh, that's terrible. <sighs> this is such a nerve-wracking battle. Oh, gosh! Ugh, I don't think I'm gonna make it. <sighs> can you just give me a little more time so I can get a couple more hits on you, please? Just a couple more seconds. No, of course not. No, oh, okay. Oh, jeez. Woo! <sighs> so, yeah. He's very simple, just very tricky, and Buster only, no death. He is brutal, and... The luck comes in very, very well right now. I am super lucky. Woo! <laughs> oh, die. Finally. That guy was tense. Okay, I do not like luck-based battles, and that was definitely it. Okay, that was actually one of the biggest hurdles of Skull Castle, and now we move into a rather easier level and, if I recall, boss compared to this one. A little bit of a longer level, but overall, not too worried about it. I'm just glad I got that boss out of the way. So, we're homing in on the final stretch. A couple more stages to go, a couple more bosses, quite a few more bosses if you count the rematches. But we're almost there, everybody. So until next time, see y'all later, and stay retro. So, as you might have guessed from my reactions to the battle earlier in the video, yeah. This guy was a pain. Like, his level, at that point, had become a non-issue. 
I wasn't really worried about it. It was him that I, I was primarily concerned with. And it's just because of his unpredictability with his jumps and the Mets falling down on your head and just the whole damage output that he does on you if you just make a single mistake. You pay for it dearly. So I abide by what I said earlier. There's a little bit of luck that is involved in this battle and it it just tore me up quite a bit. And of course me being dumb too and sliding right into him doesn't help. But you can see that small hop he did, yeah. Not one of my favorite bosses in the whole series, for sure. But it's one that I'm happy to have finally gotten past me.